I think that this is the longest I have ever gone without filming a Dollar Tree haul. Um, don't get me wrong, I have been shopping at the Dollar Tree, as you guys have been seeing, but, um, you know, uh, due to the death of my dear Mikamu, I just haven't sat down and done a Dollar Tree haul. But I have a huge pile of stuff, and a lot of it is stocking stuffers, things we need to start using. So I decided today is the day I will film a Dollar Tree haul. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus Three. Welcome. And yes, my name is remaining the same, my channel name, because before my Plus Three pups, I was always a chick um, because that was my nickname given to me as a little girl and my plus three were my two sons and Bill. So I've always used that um, like moniker, you know, an email, whatever. And then as Bill and I became empty nesters, the plus three morphed into my three fur children. So even though now, sadly, we have lost two of um, the original three, my name's never changing, regardless of how many plus or minuses I have. So I just wanted to make sure you all knew that. But now we're going to jump into the Dollar Tree haul. So grab yourself um, a seasonal drink, maybe. A snack some Christmas cookies because this is gonna be a long one so I hope you'll join me what do you say let's go well look who decided to join us Bill is here so I appreciate your help because it is a mega haul. So uh, let me grab the first items that we want to share. All right. Um, the first thing that I want to show, and hopefully no grands are watching this video. Oh, there are. I know it. It's so sweet. The, our granddaughter keeps telling me she's watching all the videos. She's catching up. All right. But this first item... Um, I did show you guys in the walkthrough, but maybe not all of you saw the walkthrough. But look at this thing. Now, our grandson, and actually our adult youngest son, is really into, like, Nerf fighting. Nerf. Big yeah. time. And one of our viewer friends told us that this thing works awesomely, so much so that she was going to go back and get a second one. Uh, he'll shoot his eye out with that. <laughs> so it is a crossbow. Shoot my eye out. Bow. It is a crossbow, indoor-outdoor play. It does say, do not shoot in the direction of, of face or eyes. Of but you get the six foam arrows. And actually, I had hauled months ago the Dollar Tree workbench plastic goggles mm -hmm. for our grandson to wear for, you know, Nerf toys like this. So I just saw them in his bedroom recently. Whether or not he actually wears them... I have no idea, but... He courts danger. I tried to be a good Mimi and uh, purchase him eye protection. So I thought this looked like a really substantial toy for $1.25. And it's by Jammin Products. Um, and it is a green briar line. So mm. this is really impressive. And this was $1.25. Everything we're sharing today is $1.25. I think since Plus Stores opened on our area, I have only ever purchased that Puck Light, which was $3. That's the only Plus item so far I've ever purchased. So everything today is $1.25, but I thought that thing was great. And I know we got a huge haul, so I got to not talk so much. Look what I found for $1.25. This I couldn't believe either. I thought it's, for sure it was going to be marked three. It's raining a lot here. 
tomorrow is going to be especially wet. Yeah. Uh, they had a box of these out. Uh, uh, this is uh, black, and they mm -hmm. had very dark blue. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to court disaster and see what it no, looks like. No, don't, don't open it. Why? Because we've had... I, I'm, I don't want any the superstition of the bad luck opening an umbrella in the house. You married me, so that... Uh, <laughs> started my string. That started the string. Yeah. No, so please don't court All disaster. Right. But You'll looks, know what an umbrella looks like, I'm sure. We'll try it out in the rain. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and let you know. Yeah. Now, it does say, it did say like that it's manual. So if you guys yeah. notice, it, wasn't it doesn't button. have that button that it pops up. Which is okay, right? Because, like, yeah. so many times that ends up not working. You don't want that going off in your pocket anyway. Yeah, so it does say manual open umbrella. Yeah. Looks very nice. Uh, uh, let me tell you, for the price, buck twenty-five, I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe this was from the $5 aisle. I did, too. Yeah. I thought it was going to ring up three. In fact, we purposely at the register made sure yeah. we put it at the Last end. Last at the end so I could so, see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so dollar twenty-five. Good deal. And then um, I just grabbed this. This is actually a stocking stuffer for somebody. It's just the shower curtain liner. You know, $1.25. It's, it's magnetic. Are these the best things in the world? No, but, you know, they do the job. So I thought practical You don't have to worry about stuffer. cleaning them. You take them down and replace them. Yeah, when they get, yeah. like, if you have hard water, like we yeah, do around stuff, here, yeah. mildew and stuff. Exactly. You can just take it down, throw it away. And these also do make nice drop cloths. Oh, yeah. So I grabbed that. And then, oh, I guess Bill doesn't have anything I don't have ready. A backup yet. So I'll share my next item. I'm excited to try this out, guys. It's by Spa Scriptions, and it is a firming anti wrinkle neck cream it says it has peptides and hyaluronic acid to smooth tighten and hydrate your neck now this was the only one um that i found the only box and the reason why i was willing to try as you call these magic potions was again bill one of our friends said that this stuff is working for her. I think she said she went back and bought like two more boxes of it. And so, you know, aging definitely, they say, <laughs> shows in your hands and your neck. I'm just thinking I'm being foolish. It shows everywhere. <laughs> it's like, it beats the alternative. You know, though, if you so. want to look younger, you just walk around next to me. Oh, <laughs> so it does say cruelty free. The only thing, you know, no it husbands is, were harmed. It is made in China. I, you know, try to avoid that. So it's the land of all um, sorts of it. But chemicals. I I got it. I guess I am going to give it a try and see. So yeah. Spa scriptions, firming anti wrinkle well, neck cream. Other people have used it and they're happy with it, so. Yep. Well, what I'm going to do now is show you something I'm very happy with. I always pick up some Swiss Miss cho uh, hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did you, oh, you go for the no marshmallow. Yeah, I'm on a no marshmallow kick. Yeah. Uh, I keep pricing this against uh, the store brand uh, uh, hot chocolate. And even though the store brand may give you 10, this only gives you six. Uh, the prices I'm coming up with, these are still less right, expensive. Right, per ounce, yeah. like. Price. Or per package, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and while I was at it, now's the time to get your coffee. I'll tell you this Harry and David stuff. It's made for baskets, gift baskets. But I'm telling you, the price per pound is excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, and they come up with some really nice uh, flavors. This is milk chocolate uh, peanut butter. Mm, yeah. And this is um, maple vanilla. We're, we're I'm maple really crazy. I'm really excited yeah. by that yeah. one. And while we're at it, of course, I always. We're missing a box. I must have used it already. But uh, buy the K-Cups. If you like K-Cup coffee, this is the cheapest stuff you can buy. Mm -hmm. It's not... Uh, it, Quality-wise, it's excellent. It is. But the price-wise is still about uh, 4 25 uh, for 12 And this... No, three get... three seventy five for 12 That's what it right. priced is Right, 3 75 for 12 at the Dollar Tree... But for 12 K cups in our grocery store on sale, on sale. it's and this 424. Is, and that's that's the store that's brand. Their low that's the store brand. Yeah. 
So 424 is the entry point in the grocery market around here. Uh, so whenever we go, we just pick up 12 of these every time. We, well, you mean, so three packs. Yeah, three packs for a total 12 of 12. boxes, yeah. right. Yeah. So we got the breakfast blend, did you tell them, and the vanilla? Vanilla cream brulee. Those are the two that seem to be in stock yeah. now. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know if I've tasted that one yet. Oh, and then one final thing. This is the last one I found, and I haven't seen it since. And that was the only box. This was I the think. only box, so it must have been great. Mm -hmm. uh, K-Cups for hot chocolate, which is no big, uh, it's nothing new, but... M&M's hot mm, chocolate. I've never seen that. Yeah, look at that. Now that one, you do get three pods instead four. of four. But, hey, it's but, something uh, different, yeah, right? Yeah, it's something different. It should be delicious. That was the last box in the crate, in the in the, in the the uh, the area where it was. And I haven't seen it since. So Nor have I. If you find this, pick it up because it goes quickly. I'm excited to yeah. try it. Yeah. All right, the next thing I want to share, I thought this was fantastic. Look at all of these socks. You get five pair, and they are all to do with Baby Yoda. I really appreciate that you didn't just, like, lots of times you'll get a couple of cutesy pairs, and then they'll give you all white or black. Not this time. Each pair has really fun design on it and it's all to do with baby Yoda and so even though you know I kind of could care one way or the other about baby Yoda you got your the shoes yeah. on you got your sneakers well, and the grands your... like it yeah. so they get a kick out of seeing me wear them now these recommend shoe size four to ten but five pairs the Star Wars and they're the no-show so I thought that was an awesome, awesome deal. Yeah, because deal. usually the most you can get is three pair. Yes, yes. Uh, five pair is excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got to get them when you see them because they go quickly. I haven't seen these uh, in the store where we got and them. And I from. have to say, these feel like nice quality. Yeah. So I was really, really pleased. StarWars.com, and it says they're Disney. And, so I grabbed those. And you cover them up anyway. Mm-hmm. What do you have? There, uh, I got something I want to try. Ooh, me too, actually. We got to get this going, yeah. all our taste tests. Look at these. These are uh, truffles. Mm -hmm. Again, they're on the small side for baskets, gift baskets. But uh, we've never seen the brand before. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, how bad can a truffle really be? How can you mess up a truffle, and right? And six is actually a decent number. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully these are going to be comparable to lint. lint. I almost said lint. Lint, lint, lint. I don't, lint. Know. I don't lint? know. But uh, these are Bulgaria. Oh, yeah, Bulgaria. So we got the uh, premium milk chocolate. And then what was that one? This one here is the uh, tr uh, car caramel. Filling in yeah. the milk chocolate. Yeah. So milk chocolate filled with caramel. All right. So I'm excited to get those and, um, or try them, I should yeah. say. And these guys were this was the first time we were seeing these and you know what they were by i don't even want to think this far ahead but they had out valentine's day candy, valentine's day candy so day. i was feeling like they were putting these out for valentine's day you can day. use them from valentine's day so you soon, could yeah. but i mean i don't know i think truffles are fabulous for christmas to add to gift baskets great for breakfast stocking fillers Yep, and breakfast. So, good job. Ooh, and good. then we found this uh, Drizzlicious. Mm. Uh, drizzle popcorn cho chocolate chip. Yeah. You see that? Because look at the Nestle Toll Oh, house. yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's that what looks drew Nestle. me yeah. to it. So, we'll throw that in our taste test, too. Yeah, product of the USA. Mm -hmm. uh, New Jersey, distributed out of New Jersey. And the shelf life on this is May 2024. Wow. So, again, you know, if you have the storage space, get this. If you want to put it away for Valentine's Day, you yeah. certainly could. Look at that. They got a whole grain uh, logo in the back. Huh. So... Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Speaking of yummy, yummy, I grab these guys all the time. The Breckenridge Farms jalapeno slices. She lives on them. I do. And, um, you know, if you're weary about, like, super hot jalapenos, to me, these aren't super hot. They have a nice level of heat, but they're not, like, uh, five alarm, like, fire. They're not ghost peppers, right? Yes, yeah. So, um, 
you maybe want to give them a try, but they are a product of India, a staple in our household. And then the other thing, I had seen these, I don't know, like a week ago, and I didn't pick it up. I showed you guys in the walkthrough. And then again, we were there and we were thinking, you know, we need some stocking stuffers. And look at this thing. This is like almost as big as my face. Jumbo size luxury bath ball. I mean, this is huge. And so I thought this was a really nice uh, stocking stuffer. We're going to give this to our son. It is made in PRC, it says. China. So, um, oh, is that? Yeah. Where it is? All right. Pretty sure. And if it isn't already big enough, it says on it that it's going to enlarge with the use. So I don't know. It, I Can it be too big and end up it's being life, like trying to wash preserver. out with a beach ball? I don't know. But I thought it was going to be a fun stocking stuffer. And they had all different colors. So I got that. And yeah, look at Basket. <laughs> it's like a basketball. <laughs> That's the size. <laughs> Oh, and then, all right, since I see Bill doesn't have anything handy, I picked this up. And why I did Efferdent, which I believe is name brand, yeah. Efferdent, yep. Antibacterial Dental Appliance Cleanser. So, you know, when I first think of Efferdent, I think dentures. of dentures. dentures. And so yeah. if you have dentures, it would be a great product for that. I don't happen to have um, dentures but I do have a retainer. And so I was like, well, that is pretty cool because, you know, retainers, you have to wear mm -hmm. daily the same thing. You can clean them with toothpaste and a toothbrush. But I don't know. I just thought 20 tablets for $1.25, even if you like cleaned your retainer, I'll have to look into it. But like, you know, once a week or something, maybe to do like a deep clean this thing's going to last a long time. So for $1.25, I was like, I am going to uh, get that. Yeah, because it says it will remove discoloration, dissolve stains. So not that it really matters if you retain, but whatever. I thought I want to give it a try. It's made in the USA. That's the actual size of the tablet. So I would say that's like a nickel. Um but yeah, so 20 tablets, I would have thought, oh, with the Dollar Tree name brand, they'd maybe give you five. Yeah, so when like I that. saw 20, that really prompted me to uh, pick this up. While I was at the Dollar Tree, uh, I was looking for uh, some items to make some Christmas candy. I don't make a lot of fudge, uh, but I like coconut. Uh, and candy. we haven't made anything. I haven't made any year. candy for Christmas. I haven't even baked cookies. No. So we, uh, well, I found some ingredients for some uh, coconut candy, uh, some coconut milk, and then of course uh, some uh, sweetened coconut. Oh, and the coconut milk is McTrader. Yeah, McTrader. It's. Uh, Isn't that like kind of like it? I don't know. Just the that name I think is like making you think of Trader Mc Joe's or McDonald's. I didn't think of that. But anyway, yeah, so it's uh it's like rolled candy. Uh so I was grabbing some coconut stuff. Now did so, you know this one is light coconut milk light? It was only coconut milk they had, so product of Thailand. So you got the coconut milk. Yeah, and uh this uh coconut is good until June two thousand twenty four. Oh the coconut sweetened sweetened coconut light. flake, yep. So uh uh it, and this is out of Georgia, but I'm sure the coconuts from uh, overseas. But uh, so I was just getting together stuff to uh, to make candy. Uh, coconut milk, I think, is also used in a in a muffin recipe. Uh, so I'm just getting my supplies. And since we're talking about candy, uh, I also picked up some other candy. Twix, because you can't resist six Twix. Mm -hmm. I think those though were used as a stocking stuffer. Yeah, and then uh, raisinets. Milk chocolate. Another stocking stuffer. Yeah. Made from whole fruit. 
Which means it's not minced. It's actual raisins covered, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And they have the raisinets at our Dollar Tree in dark chocolate also. Dark chocolate's available. But very we dark. we had a specific request for the milk chocolate. And talking about dark chocolate, we have uh, the dark chocolate espresso beans, mm. which I can't wait to try. We also have the milk chocolate that milk we chocolate. bought like few weeks ago that are in I have a huge bag going of taste test uh, Dollar Tree treats. Yeah bite size works of art hmm. it says on it. I can't wait to try yeah. these. Yeah uh, and uh, I was trying to figure out where they're from. Sweden. Yeah uh, Sweden product of Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yeah imported in New Jersey. So what is it? Coppers? Coppers? Coppers chocolate. Swedish. I'm excited to so try that. Coppers? You don't know. <laughs> oh, and then nuts. Nuts. Car, cars nuts. Sweet and salt, salty mix. Oh, that looks good. That's yeah. a very, like, uh, Christmassy mix. Oh, yeah, it has red and green candies in it. Oh, and it's from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, so that also is just big enough for a stocking stuffer or a nice uh, Christmas basket. Yeah, how many ounces is it? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Quarter cup, six servings. I can't. I can't so a say. cup and a half. Yeah. It's a cup and a half. Yep. It's a cup and a half. So not bad. Oh, and speaking of candy, this was a, another request. I was very And we were excited. happy to find it because we couldn't find it for a week or two. Exactly. The Jolly Ranchers, but they're the hard candies. All yeah. we were finding were the Jolly Gummy. Rancher gummies. gummies. So I was really excited. Um, 3.8 ounces. And you get, it says 18 pieces in here. So 18 pieces for a dollar twenty-five seems like a great deal. Um, so yeah, Jolly yeah. Rancher. Little boy comes over, he goes, I have to have my Jolly Rancher. He goes to the cabinet, picks it up, mm -hmm. goes a couple of times during his visit. And then yeah. when he uh, when he leaves, he goes back and grabs the rest of the bag for the car. <laughs> he loves for the his car. Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> so, oh, and then I picked these up for a stocking stuffer. We've purchased these numerous times at the Dollar Tree, the oven-baked fudge-covered cookies filled with a peanut butter spread made with real peanuts, seven-ounce package. Um, we, everybody that in our family that eats these actually prefers them like out of the refrigerator. Yeah. So, because it firms up that peanut butter spread a little, I think. But they're like a dupe of a Girl Scout cookie. They're very good. At a much lower price point. So, very good. Yeah, really good. So, those are a stocking stuffer also. Oh, excuse me, Bill. And then another stocking stuffer is the Peace Tree. I haul this all the time. Caddyshack Peace Tree. This is the tea and lemonade mix. They have usually like four different flavors of this product. And again, $1.25 is cheaper than our local grocery stores or like convenience stores. So I'm always grabbing this and I thought that'd be a fun stocking stuffer for our adult son, you know. I uh, I picked up some more of the Cheerios. Well, they're not Cheerios. They're, they're taste, honey nut taste, toasted uh, oats. oats. I was going to say Tastios, but that's not even their name. Exactly. Uh, CF Brands. Uh, that's a product of Mexico. Product of Mexico. Very, very good. Not mm -hmm. Never had an issue. Now, honestly, the dogs love these. They do. And we, we are always replacing uh, their treats with more of these. But the reason I went out and got these uh, the other day is I have a recipe for banana uh, muffin mm -hmm. that uses two cups of Cheerios. And you know the price of Cheerios in stores now. you got to take out a loan exactly. if you want to buy a box of cereal. And you uh, didn't want to use. He has one box left of the lemon. The lemon Cheerios. Cheerios actual the Cheerios. Lemon yeah, Frosted. General Mills. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you can't beat the price. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like Cheerios. And I'll be... Uh, I'll be uh, I, I challenge you to try to tell the difference between the two products. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very, like very, very narrow difference, if any, if any. I like them, and the dogs all love them. And again, every time we haul Cheerios and tell you that for our yeah. dogs, they're not a meal replacement. We're not feeding them a bowl of Cheerios. We literally give them a Cheerio as like a, a training treat. Snack. You know, you got a little pocket of them and pop them 
to yes, the dog yes. every time they do what you ask them to do. Yeah, that yeah. type of thing. So, yeah. so um, 10 ounces, not family size, but it's hefty for a buck 25. Yeah. yeah, it's been a long time since I've been able to find the really big bonus box mm -hmm. of them. If they ever come back, I literally probably will buy like four because they're so hard to find. Yeah. So, oh, and then another product that had been missing for a while and came back is the Hormel pepperoni. And I think this is a great deal. Um, You get two pouches. Yeah, this is shelf stable doesn't need to be refrigerated or anything until you open it up so i really like that about it and it's two pouches and so each pouch is um individually like sealed so i thought this would be nice to put together a little charcuterie board um over the holidays or if we make a pizza, again, I prefer veggies on my pizza, but if company wants the meat, um, again, I can just open. It says one pouch is enough for one pizza. So nice little yeah, cheese nice crackers little with a little pepperoni on it, yeah, too. Yeah. Yep. And name brand Hormel. So I picked that up. The reason I originally came up here, I didn't know you were filming, but I needed a trash bag for downstairs, mm -hmm. so I, I know there was a box up here. Yep. Yeah, I can't uh, I can't find any fault with these. I mean, these general purpose ones uh, for the amount of trash we produce, no sharp edges and whatnot. Mm -hmm. These work fine. This is a 13 gallon uh, bag big enough for us. And how many are in the package? Uh, 13 bags, which is pretty good because that's really good. Seven, eight. I'm finding boxes at the Dollar Tree with seven or eight in them. I'm yeah. thinking really why. Yeah, but, so uh, before you just grab, you know, you see the gallons you want, and, you know, if you have time, don't just, like, grab the first one you see. Check out the shelves, because, like Bill is saying, this one had 13 in it, this brand, and it's a 13-gallon, so why grab a 13-gallon that yeah. only has seven bags? And this has the drawstring top. I, I like that myself. Uh, well, yes. The other thing you want to look for is in a lot of the Dollar Tree bags, they're the flaps that you have to fold over and tie. Mm -hmm. uh, so look, this is a great deal to get 13 of the drawstrings. I because, agree. Yeah, and we pay. reuse the drawstring ones for our like empty recyclable bottles yeah. in um, our state. You get charged a nickel, like for a water bottle, a soda bottle. And so we obviously save those and turn them in. And so what's nice is we have like one of these hanging, put the recycles yeah. in there. And then when we dump them out into the receptacle that uh, goes to the grocery store to turn them in, um, we just, you know, keep using this so yeah, we and get if, our money's worth. And if the cans uh, make it sticky on the inside, then you we just use toss it. The, well, yeah. then you can just put it into your trash, trash can, yeah. use it as your trash can, and, yeah. uh, you know, let it finish out Multi, its life like that. Yep. So, yeah. So, good deal. Well, I think, guys, we caught up on all the products. I'm trying to make sure because they're scattered everywhere. Um, so, yep, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to make any promises what our next video will be about, but we have a massive Dollar Tree holiday taste test. We have to taste it to so fill. they can get out if they want any of it I know and get it, it before because Christmas. Because it's like candy and treats and snacks and coffee like drinks. Half a dozen drinks. I mean, it's a lot. So, I guess we're going to have to get to work on that. Have to skip a couple of meals to make room for it, I think. But, well, thank you, everybody, for choosing to spend a little time with Bill and I today. I know so many of us are super busy, especially uh, as the year is drawing to a close. So we appreciate you making the time to spend with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be back again very soon. So as always, our friends, until then, remember, please be well. Be well.